Hello, I'm Ratza. Welcome to this video of the Treasure of the Air Isle. Me and a friend started finding clues well over a year ago, but we eventually got stuck and couldn't find any information about them, so I decided to make a video about it. People share the clues they have found, and I made a second video. One person decided to set up a Discord dedicated to this search. Now it's been almost a year since the first video, and a lot of clues has been found since then. So I think it's time to update this a little bit. So what exactly is the treasure of their eye? It's a crypto wallet with actual money in it from the mapmaker John McLean and other donators. As far as we can tell, the entire search starts here in this house in Valdeboro. Up on the second floor, you can find this note, which has this text written on it. There's also a cipher. We have to switch the letters to switch all the K's to A's, all the A's to K's, etc. Once you change all the letters, you get the Latin sentence at the bottom, which translated means the answer lies buried. And the letter also states that Paul and Romy will help you. Paul and Romy are John McLean's cats. You can find Paul's grave up in Portland. And on this gravestone, you can see a set of coordinates. Pretty close to Oceanville, there's a graveyard where Romney is buried. And on his gravestone, you can find a second set of coordinates. Combining the coordinates you get from both the graves, you come here to Baron Falls. And underneath the hut, you find the next note which says the wings of freedom, so many ways for a sling yard. You can also see some binary code on the note, which translates into eagle, which would be the first of the seed words needed to open a wallet. Yard sling could be an anagram for Sandy Girl, which brings us up to North Haven, where there's two clues. First is the sticks and stones, which form the word tongue in Morse. Second is the note with the latitude and longitude, pointing us towards Paris Island. In Paris Island, we find this car, the note in the back seat. If you use a ROT plus 7 decryption, it will reveal the world of Vibrant. And the triangle on the note is actually a map of Georgetown. In this house in Georgetown, you can find a note on the side of the fireplace with a lot of numbers. If you remove all the zeros, you get the coordinates to the next place. Following the coordinates we get from the previous note, we come to this warehouse. And inside on the ground there's another note. On that note, you see letters and lines. And if you put that over a keyboard, it would point towards the letter H. I form the word horn. There's also the text that X marks the spot. The note also points directly to another clue. We're not 100% sure that's intentional or not. If that note points to the next clue, we would find this up in the mountains. It's a picture of cranberries and a well. Which leads us to this well that has another note on it with music notes from the song Zombie by Cranberries, with the seed word probably being Bomb. There's also a picture of a lighthouse door. This lighthouse has a note on its roof, with a reference to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and the answer is 42. Before moving on to Area 42, I'm gonna show you this. It's a big letter. There are several over the map, but I won't show you all of them. But together, they spell the word library. And in the Paris Underground, you can find this computer which has the address to the crypto wallet. In Area 42, you have this big concrete tower with the number 42 on one of the corners, as well as a bunch of different numbers different floors but I don't think we managed to solve that yet 
But on the top, there's a note that says the island's biggest circle. The island's biggest circle is most likely Berenger's crater. And on the top of the tower there, you can find this note. And if you use pi and move the names around, you get the word penalty. On Alcatraz, you can find this newspaper. And if you read it carefully, you can find a link to a YouTube video. That video is about a drowning statue. It likely leads us to this lady in the lake with another clue that we haven't been able to solve yet. Out in the swamp, we have this X-Wing with a set of coordinates and the seed word reason on it. We haven't been able to tie together these sets of clues with others yet. If we go to the coordinates that were on the X-Wing, we come to this place with the seed word blind written in braille and an arrow pointing south. Follow that arrow till you get to another arrow. And then another arrow. Then you get to a note. There is a lot of stuff happening in this note. Or we believe that region is the seed word. If you keep going in the direction that the note is pointing, Near the water, you will see the word hockey. There's also Paul's cereal box, and on the back of it, it says fill in the missing letters. Spell the word bay. There's also some cassette tapes that you can find. Two of them has music on them. We're not sure what it means. One has Morse code. It spells elevator. Which is most likely also a seed word. That's all the clues I have to show you. You're more than welcome to join the treasure discord if you'd like to discuss the clues. You'll find a link in the description. You can also find a link to my discord if you want to hang out, play games, have fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, don't be afraid to leave a comment or thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you next time.